Hello, welcome back to Trailer Trash. Uh, today's trailer is going to be Lisa Frankenstein. Let's check it out. Are you hot for anyone? Lisa! Does he have more of a basketball bod or a football bod? He doesn't play sports. I tend to his grave. I talked to him. I wish I just spit you. That's really weird, Lisa. So she's Lydia from Beetlejuice, essentially, like that that creepy goth girl kind of idea. It's been a while since you've seen that represented in movies. Uh, well, actually, that's not true because Wednesday Adams is now this this big thing, right? But still, it's it's interesting. You hear that? I'm sure it's the girl next door. She's very odd. Hmm. Your hand? I can't believe you're here. Mm -hmm. Do you like music? I have the cure. Ooh. Oh, not that kind of cure. <laughs> All right. I already kind of like this. I, I like the, the aesthetic, the uh, you know, 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink type film, but it's a, a kind of a, a horror spoof. It's pretty good. I, it's, <laughs> I get, there's a lot of potential with that. It's, it's great. Can't make you better. I mean, they can, but like emotionally. <laughs> no, don't cry. <gasps> Your tears as well. So bad. Send it back. You need a friend. No. I love it. It's not really my style. When you're in doubt, Lisa looks good. She could probably even do pageants if she had congeniality. Your daughter is a little psycho. I owe my glorious home to an ungrateful little. Coming of rage story, you say. Wow. Um, don't don't lose me. You already sold me. Don't make it worse. <laughs> but this just goes to show uh, any guys out there who are into goth chicks, just just be a corpse. The best way to get women nowadays. Ooh. I want to help you, but Taffy says it's a waste of time to try and fix a boy. It's better just accept a guy's flaws. Oh, that's so cute. I have an idea. There are bad people out there. Come on, Lisa. It'll feel good. That hand is going to do terrible things. I'm sorry, but I'm just thinking of the right You are being admitted. Impatient. Lockdown. Oh, that's the Frankenstein part of. I was trying to figure out where the Frankenstein part of Lisa Frankenstein is going to come in. She's going to kill people and put them together, like fix her boyfriend. F fix. That's. Uh, oh, man. Again, it's. It already started off as a fun concept, but it just keeps adding on. the clink for life or the electric chair but i don't want to die a virgin <clears throat> you know anything about the disappearance of a student i'm not making any more comments <gasps> you can talk to my lawyer really hope this goth phase ends soon wait did it say hold on written by diablo cody Zelda Williams? Like, Robin Williams' daughter, Zelda Williams? Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even realize... I guess... I don't know. It's always weird with celebrities' kids. Like, you assume they would not want to be in the industry. But at the same time, you'd also assume that they have no choice but to be in the industry. That's cool. That's really rad. I, I, I hope... Uh, I mean, I wonder if she's done anything else lately. But, uh, yeah. That's... I, I like I like the idea, and I'm blown away by the fact that Robin Williams' daughter <laughs> is the director, which is really strange. But uh, with that, let's check out the comments. Okay, this movie looks badass for... It's basically Warm Bodies, but a Frankenstein version. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Warm Bodies, that was the one with the girl who falls in love with a zombie or something, right? Only the difference here, I would say, is this... That was playing on the zombie fad. This, more or less, is just kind of its own thing. 
right? Because back then it was just like zombie movies are everywhere and warm bodies. To the best of my understanding, I never saw it, but it was kind of a spoof on that. Like a spoof on that and the fact that Twilight was a big thing. So it's just like girl falls in love with a monster. Well, zombies are huge and they're monsters. So that kind of deal, maybe. You know, with this, it is kind of following a trend where it's like every movie has to take place in the in the 80s now. Like the 80s is the big new fad for Hollywood stuff. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I'm liking it so far. <laughs> this person says, best movie of all time. And there's one reply. <laughs> no. <laughs> Meh. This is like the time they tried to do it with a zombie and a girl falling for each other. And again, I think there's a bit of a difference because that movie seemed like it would suck. Again, never saw it myself, but I think people are being dismissive of Warm Bodies. And again, I think that's because it came out at like the worst time for a movie like that to come out because zombies were everywhere so it was clear that's what the movie was trying to do again unless it was a satire like 100 percent of the way in which case that sounds kind of fun because again twilight zombies those were huge put them together make a movie making fun of the fact that those are huge i don't know it's funny how this is a trailer for a movie called lisa frankenstein and yet i seem to be constantly stepping up to bat for <laughs> warm bodies i don't know how that happened it could be good but why frankenstein oh well i mean because frankenstein was the doctor who made a monster out of stitching body parts together and so lisa is doing the same thing only the the joke is it's a guy she's into because she's a vapid 80s teenager um which bugs the hell out of me and maybe that's where this confusion comes from with the comments i mean i'm construing a lot just from a simple question but frankenstein was the doctor frankenstein was not the monster I, it pisses me off all the time when it gets confused it, for no other reason other than the fact that i'm a snob i guess <laughs> but uh, yeah it's like frankenstein was the dude the monster I mean, it's argued that he didn't have a name, or some people say, I think in the book, he was named Adam after the first man. Um, though I've also heard arguments, and I can kind of understand where it's like people getting the name Frankenstein and assuming it's the monster, or seeing the monster and assuming it's Frankenstein. There's kind of a, a poetic nature to that because the original novel is more or less about the monster kind of distancing himself from his creator the monster doesn't want to be a monster the monster is actually intelligent and wants to break free from that persona but is kind of doomed to always be the monster and this is the original mary shelley book apparently and so the fact that people even today will see the monster and say oh that's frankenstein is kind of a dig on it kind of continues the the whole story arc of the monster being incapable of distancing himself from his creator and being more than the monster so it's interesting but still no his name's not fucking frankenstein and that's uh, that's my rant lame i bet it's another movie where the main character kills a bunch of people and gets away with it is that common in movies i mean action movies sure but also, I, it seems like, you know, the, the conflict of the story is going to be her trying to get away with it. Like, you see stuff with her and the police, and that, um, I forgot the actress's name, but the older lady in this, you know, being like, I'm going to lock you up for what you're doing kind of thing. It seems like you, that's kind of the problem. I mean, whether or not she gets away with it, like, sure, but... I, I don't think it's going to gloss over the fact that she's killing people and there's no one's going to bat an eye kind of deal. So turning another character female, lol. I didn't get that feeling from it. Like, I kind of get the feeling that her last name is even actually Frankenstein. I mean, maybe it is, and I just didn't catch it in the trailer. But it's more of a joke. Like, what she's doing puts her in line with the evil doctor that we're all familiar with. I, I feel like it's a bit it's a bit of a knee jerk to be like, oh, it's 
turning Dr. Frankenstein into a woman? Well, no, because then it would take place in, like, a gothic setting, and it would actually be the Mary Shelley story of creating a man out of dead bodies. Like, this isn't that. It's a derivative of it. It's taking inspiration and spoofing it. So I'm, I'm not sure about that argument. Didn't they make a version in a zombie Lamau weak ass f Yes. Yes, they did. And apparently most of the comments for this fucking trailer is people coming to that conclusion and again kind of writing it off on that, which I don't think is fair. Again, I feel like I've explained myself, but I'm going to do it again. I don't think it's fair to write it off as just warm bodies, but different, slightly different. There's, if I feel like there's a bit more cleverness going on here. Though I did, I, I did argue that maybe people don't like warm bodies because it came out at a bad time where everything was zombies. Uh, then again, this is supposed to be all 80s and shit. And, um, comes out around a time where Stranger Things is a big deal. So yeah, I guess it kind of is. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take it back. It is sort of <laughs> riding the coattails of again what's popular. But I think the concept's fun. This seems interesting. It seems unique enough. Um, yeah. And also in the zombie one, did did she like kill zombies for the benefit of? I mean, it was a zombie apocalypse, so yeah, she killed zombies. This is normal times-ish, so killing people is kind of a, a bad thing. I don't know. This, there's more layers to it. It's it's kind of a shame that a lot of people seem to just be writing it off as a, a ripoff of another movie that I guess people just didn't like. Like this, like this person whose comment is just <laughs> their O face. I that's what what does that mean <laughs> one person liked it unless it's the same person who left the comment like what do you what did you get out of that that i'm not it's, anyway <laughs> so that's gonna be it for trailer trash um yeah thanks for watching